Hey guys, you're watching Mickey's A Question channel and today we're going to go through a product review of the Fort Worth um, tendon boot, I believe it's called, or sports boot. Um, so let's begin. Fort Worth Sport Boots Suited Front Rear Aztec Limited Edition Medium. That is this boot. Okay, um, so my product review on the Fort Worth boot. Um, I have only used this boot and bell boot um, once. Um, so I will um, I will use it more, a couple more times just to see if I get the same route. But this is the first impression um and try on of the boot um so yeah got the tendon boots and the um bell boots um for um it was go have a look at the christmas haul boxing boxing day sales i got um so i did ride in them the other day um so this is it uh, my review on this product i love the design of it um, and the colours, these um, blue and pink are my favourite colours. I think I did mention that in the Christmas haul video, um, so go watch that. But um, love the colour. It will start with the bell boot first. Open up. It is a medium, both of these, I believe, are medium. I think this is a medium as well. This is the medium bell boot. Um, as you can see, Strawberry has worn it once. Um, so I do love how I've got the no turn... I don't know what you call it, um, but yeah, um, I love that about it. I think most bell boots anyway have this. So yeah, you can see the inside of the, um, the boot. It seems quite thick, got a thick layer there in it. So it seems to be very good protection. Um, the Velcro, Velcro seems good. The Velcro seems really strong um, for it, hasn't come off. So Velcro and that is good. Um, the only thing I've just noticed is there's a little bit of wear on it already. Um, Strawberry does have a couple scars on her leg, so that could be possibly it's just a bit rough. Um, I don't actually know which side I put that on. It doesn't actually really have any scar um, things, so this must be the foot that Strawberry has a scar on it. Um, but that happens with most um, products. I don't think I've seen it that early. Come on. Um, so I'll keep an eye on that. My next thing I just have a look at is the rim here. Obviously that goes at the edge of the foot. That's where it's going to get most impact to see how worn it is. Both of them, yeah, both of them seem like they haven't had ads. Like there's no holes or anything in it yet. So obviously they are staying up quite well. Um... With it. So we'll see how these edges go um, as well. But this obviously is the first ride. I think I rode it for an hour and a half. So I think these boots were on for an hour and a half. Um, and we did go for a trail as well. So this is also had an experience of riding it around the paddock. And then also in a trail ride, um, quite hilly. So they stayed on. They never came off. So good Velcro. I feel, I don't know, I feel like these might be not as long. But I don't know, it could be wrong. But I also feel like these were a different size to the classic equine boots um, as well. I just thought I'd mention that. So um, try on them to make sure they fit your horse before actually riding them. So if they aren't the wrong, if they're the wrong size, you can hopefully take back. Okay, so we've done with the bell boots. Overall, I probably would give them a um, eight or nine out of ten yeah they for the first go they have seemed fine moving on to the tendon boots um, I found out that 
Fort Worth or I don't know if it's the whole boots they have or but this one only comes in one size I think these are all mediums and they you just buy if you want two in the front they comes in at two back so you just buy two for the front legs and then two for the back legs um, but they're all the same size so yeah I, I don't know I personally not a massive fan of that classic equine um, I do a video about classic equine but they have front legs back legs um, the backwards a bit longer they're all literally same size and they don't flies <laughs> And they don't tell you if it's left or right leg. I don't know, you, you're probably like thinking, you probably should know. But um, classic equine, and I think professional choice, both say front, right, front, left, boot. But these don't. Um, and I had a quick Google search on Fort Worth's website to see which way to put them on correctly. But I don't know. Please somebody below if you've got Fort Worth, tell me which is the correct way to actually put them on because I don't actually know um, and there's not actually clear photos on their website to show which way to put them on. I'm pretty sure I'll pop a video here. Um, of Strawberry with the first one. I'm pretty sure I put them backwards, but I don't know. Um, second thing is fine. Again, this is the first use of them. The Valkyrie. It's strong. Like, I don't actually remember any other other boot being that strong. Like, so it's going to stay on your horse, but I, when I was putting it on, I was like, I'm, fight, I'm fighting with this. Let's see. Fighting. Just to put them on my boot, horse's leg. Uh, and they've got obviously... This one. See? And this is what always happens. I do, I did it for these ones. You do the bottom, whatever, and then this one's stuck, and you're just fighting with them. Um, the first time I opened it, it kept getting stuck, um, but I just find it was um, sticking a bit to them. Um, they, I feel like other boots sort of have like a bit more shape to them, so they don't stick as much, but you put them on, they're not going to come off your horse's feet. Um, thing i feel like the velcro is quite strong don't know if it's just because it's the first couple uses um next thing is i've noticed i don't know if you can see but have a look so that's what it looks like at the start before you not using it so you can see that's got that bit is really smooth um really smooth um nothing has it but if you go back here that's already first use and it's already starting to like I don't know, would you say fray or from the Velcro, if you guys know um, Velcro, you get the Velcro scoop. It's already starting to fray, I would say. I'm just going to say it's fraying, but um, like it's not smooth anymore. And normally with other boots, I find that you get quite a couple uses out of them. So I don't know how long these are going to last. I don't know, I'll have to keep trying them and let you know in a future video how long they do last, if they last a while or not. So I don't know if it's just because the Velcro is so strong that is actually wrecking it or not. Um, so just keep that in mind. When I open up, you can see these air, you can see that they've got air holes in them. But uh, the first time I put them on strawberry and rode them for an hour, for an hour and a half, however long I rode around for, um, I took them off, these were drenched, like wet as like I'd pick it up and it was just wet it wasn't dripping and I could see on your th leg of strawberry you can see like obviously the sweat mark under the boot like coming off when the boot was still on I don't know if I took a video of it or not if I do I'll pop it in there but I don't think so um, but it was it was wet um, so I don't know why it is like it's really thick um, it is a really thick material so I don't know how well it's air yeah it's it's quite thick so i don't i have a feeling um i have a feeling just keep that in mind when you're using your horses i'll do a couple more tries of it um and see if she gets like more wet like sweaty 
on them because I don't want I don't want boots making my horse's legs hot. So maybe this would be uh, maybe I'll use these boots for once off times of it, but I'll do a couple more tries of it to see what um, more opinion I get from it. They've got the um, they've got this one um, the strap that obviously goes around the back and comes back up. Um, but yeah, everything else seems like they've hold on. Do you like the package it came in to? This is the company. How much were they? So these were $99.95 for a two-pack. Um, they did also come with this in the middle of them. So I did like that. Yeah, their product description. Fort Worth sport boots conforming to horse's legs. Allowing heat and moisture to escape while keeping your horse's performance performing at its best 360 degrees of protection supporting the cannon bone tendon soft tissues the suspensory strap offers extra support allowing a full ankle movement by stretching with each stride yes medium this is a lim limited color as well how they put it on i thought i tried to put it on the correct that way as well my review of it it's already starting to fray where the velcro goes um, so I don't know how long it will last. It is obviously on the cheaper end of the boot, of the boot, um, of boots. Um, so if you're looking for a cheaper option, I could go with these ones. Um, obviously I think the more expensive you go, the better the boot is. But saying that, I have opinion on professional choice and classic equine boots. Another video coming soon about professional choice and classic equine on your cheaper and uh, also the bell boots bell boots also i think these were 45 dollars so normally they're starting around 50 55 bell boots uh, again depending on what company you get it from but this is also australian dollars as well i think bell boots would be i'd give them a um i'll give them a eight out of the ten uh, tendon boots i'll probably give them them probably give them about a seven maybe um obviously just because they are fraying really strong the alcro i think it's maybe too bit strong when i was actually trying to pull them off strawberry they were quite i had to fight with them as well um to get them off um i found that my horse does get quite sweatier legs um it's actually the most sweatiest i've seen strawberry's legs keep that in mind um, with that one, obviously every horse is different, but this is all my opinion. Um, I just would also like to add, I'll probably use these boots um, as more as a showing fancier looking um, and not an everyday boot um, because of I feel like it's going to break a bit easier than, um, than other boots. But they are quite thick. Uh, I didn't actually find any problem with the movement. Um, my horse, Strawberry, seemed to fine move fine with them. Um, so um, I don't know how I don't know how to test supportive uh, because she mo she moved fine. Um, obviously, she hasn't hurt herself. Only have used it once. So watch out a video coming in a couple months on an updated video of what I think about the Fort Worth boot um, and the Bell boots and see how long they handle. Hey guys, I just would like to add that I'm not sponsored by any of these um, any of these tacks or anything that you see. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you do want to follow more from Strawberry and I Journey, please subscribe down the bottom. It does really help me out. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.